just a real quick video about Pro Builder. Uh, I've been using it quite a bit, uh, building storm wind out here, and uh, there's a lot of buildings over here that I'm using from uh, storm wind, various versions of WoW, uh, garrison stuff, and I've I've been going for you know kind of the blue roof style here uh, for the old storm wind keep, and uh, for that I've had to do quite a bit of editing on the meshes. For example, this one is the town hall, and normally this clock tower is offset over here to the right, so um, I just used Pro Builder to break the mesh up and kind of move the pieces around where I want, separate roofs, change materials on roofs. So I'm going to use Pro Builder for that so that I don't have to switch out of Unity over to Maya or Blender. And uh, so the first thing I need to do, I'll edit this mesh, um, is of course get your Pro Builder installed. You can do that from the package manager. And find Pro Builder here in the list and install it. Once it's installed, you need to get the Pro Builder window open. And I usually like to dock it right over here. That uh, to the left of uh, the hierarchy and all this. I have text turned on right now, but you can use icon mode, which lets you shrink that window down even further. Uh, for this video, I'm going to leave uh, text mode on so that the tool, exactly what I'm doing with the tools, is a little bit more obvious. But what I'm going to do here is just select the object. I want to do the whole entire uh, thing here. And in this case, we should check that we just can't maybe delete those. I could delete that or at least turn it off and we can check here and I can turn this one off so on that one I don't actually need to edit the mesh but on this one I'm probably gonna have to we've got the human wall and I can click on this to see there we go the uh, I want to get rid of the beams at the top so once you have the mesh selected and the pro builder window is open you can go to tools pro builder and say object pro builder eyes and that turns it into a pro builder object which just puts this pro builder mesh script on it and lets you edit the mesh inside of unity here we can edit vertices edge selection and face selection um, in this case I'm gonna turn on select hidden on and um, if it's off you it won't select faces that that are behind your view so if I select that it won't get these ones uh, back here you can see the faces here aren't selected because they were hidden uh, from the view. So I need to say uh, select hidden on. Now if I do a selection like this over these beams, it should select all the faces on those beams. So I've got all those faces selected and I can hit the backspace, not the delete button, the backspace button uh, to delete those faces. So I'm just going to do a box selection and backspace box selection and backspace and I'll see if I can get these ones it looks easy enough uh, I was afraid those faces may go way down but luckily they they get chopped off right there which is perfect and now that I'm done editing that object I'm gonna go back to object mode right here um, I can I'm ready to slide my castle piece right on top of it and uh, there we go that looks a lot better I'll probably scale it up a little bit but let me do one more example of um, some of the pieces that I did down here for one I've done a mirror on this garrison piece so for that I've just copied and then pasted it and uh, now I've got one object to work with and I'm gonna go to tool pro builder object pro builderize and it's going to ask me if I want to pro builderize the children because I have the parent selected so all the children meshes are going to get pro builderized and I'm going to say yes and uh, it might work here in object mode but if I select all of these child meshes and I say mirror objects it's going to do a complete mirror of them and it's flipped 180 degrees, so I just need to bring it back around. 
and there we go. Now you can see I have a uh, I have a nice mirror of this uh, piece right here, which I moved over here and uh, mirrored this one over here. Another example is editing the uh, the roof. Now I did it on the town hall, so let me go grab that town hall. All right, so two quick examples here. I have one building I want to use but it has a red roof so um, I've looked at the other uh, you know find a good blue roof that I want to use and uh, this one's I have saved in my materials as the Stormwind W roof so I'm gonna select this uh, one with the red roof well I could change the texture here but that would modify all the red roofs throughout my project I actually want to just change this one to the uh, W, what was it called? The W Roof Stormwind W Roof 03. Now it's not always going to work perfectly um, because of UV mapping, but you can see in this case that's good enough. And uh, now I have a nice blue roof for my that matches my town. But now about Pro Builder is editing this, you know. Uh, the problem is I wanted to move this clock tower, which means I need to move the clock tower roof, but these roofs are all attached into one piece. So I need to separate these into two meshes, and I'm going to use Pro Builder for that. So I'm going to say Pro Builder and Object Pro Builderize. Now I have the... Now I can edit the mesh. I'm going to go to Face Mode and make sure that Select Hidden is on so that I select all the faces with my box selection. Now that I have the roof selected, I'm going to go down here to Detach Faces. And Detach Faces is going to create a new game object here with a new mesh renderer. And it's uh, detached those, of course, the, the faces that I have selected and moved them into a new mesh. Now when you're done working with Pro Builder, you need to remove the Pro Builder scripts from your scene. Uh, when you do your final build on your project, there's no need to have them. You just need the mesh data. So there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, if I have this object, I'm going to go back to object mode. If I have this object selected, it does have a Pro Builder mesh script on it. So I could say Tools, Pro Builder, Actions, Strip, Pro Builder Scripts in Selection. And, uh, do I want to do this? Yes. So that's no longer a Pro Builder object. I can't edit it until I re uh, Pro Builderize it. So Pro Builder Object, Pro Builderize. But the other uh, way to do this because I know some of these other game objects in the scene are Pro Builder objects right now. I could just say Tools, Pro Builder, Actions, Strip all Pro Builder scripts in the scene. Yes, and there's really no need to have them. Um, I know I'm done editing these mesh, these meshes for the time being. I've moved my roof, you know, where I want it, and so I'm stripped the Pro Builder scripts for in my scene, and I don't need them anymore. So I'm delete town hall delete these and that's just one uh, way we could use pro builder which uh, used to be an asset but now has been added as an official part of unity and uh, that's just a small portion of what pro builder pro builder can do pro builder of course I could be building all my own buildings applying these textures to them if I need to edit uh, any of these buildings and add new geometry onto them or add staircases or anything like that it can easily easily be done and just to show off one small example of that I'm gonna click new shape and this is the pro builder uh, these are the pro builder shapes so over here on my shape tool I can choose between the different shapes and pro builder lets you select a lot of shapes that uh, you wouldn't normally have inside of unity including a staircase and there on the staircase not only can you set a curvature but you can just set the number of steps uh, the stair width the stair height and radius all this type of stuff and um, now I can easily apply one of these you know stone materials to it exports slash textures folder uh, slash terrain these are the uh, all the ones that are used on the terrain and uh, so they're gonna be tiling perfectly 
Um, so this example, I got a 186, 962. So I could search for that and find the material file. And I'm going to assign that stone texture. I'll just use the standard shader for now. And I'm going to apply that to my staircase. So now I have, uh, you know, some, I could build with Pro Builder and apply textures to them that we would find right here in WoW. So it should more or less match the WoW world uh, because, you know, we can use all the same textures that were used to build WoW.